the last video got interrupted. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this decent for the replayer watchers. Okay, so Cricut came out, where was I? Cricut came out with a new product, the Mug Press. And I thought I would do a review, first reaction review, because I was actually very excited when I found out that it was going to be a mug press um, because I thought, well, that's cool. So Cricut um, and I don't work together anymore. They no longer pay me for my reviews because I just was a little too brutally honest. And so they don't like that. They didn't like that. So they kept saying like, well, if you don't say it this way, we're not going to work with you anymore. So I broke free from that so that I'm able to give these honest reviews. Do I think Cricut has the best machine on the market? Yes. So anybody who thinks that I am just out to get the brand or I don't want people to buy their products, that is not the case at all. Do I recommend Cricut machines? Yes. Do I think if I ever find a machine that I think is better, will I say it? Yes. If I think that um, Design Space ups its game to the point where I think it beats out other design programs, will I say it? Yes. Do I think that's ever going to happen? No. Um, okay. So with that out of the way, I just wanted to say, like, if I say anything negative about the mug press, it is 100% honest. If I say anything positive about the mug press, it's 100% honest. Are we all on the same page? We're all here. We all feel, we all feel that. Um, okay. So I honestly don't even want to talk about this. I didn't want to do a review on this product. I didn't want to talk about this product. I've been so busy working on learning sublimation and setting up my new studio and running our membership and all the things that I cricket and I just like, it's just so behind me. I'm like, um, I don't think that I ever need to review, like when the, when the Cricut, uh, joy came out, I was literally just like, I don't really get it. <laughs> and I left it at that. I did the whole like day of lives reviewing it. And then I was done with it. I'm not, I, Landis is blinging it. It is, it sits in Landis's room and will we ever use it? Maybe if we need a fourth machine, cause I've got the maker, the explorer, the explorer air one, explore air one is that a thing yes explore air basically and then we have the cricket joy which is like the baby last last resort if we ever needed it so okay so i didn't know they were coming out with a product and i was like yeah i don't know because i don't work with them i would know if i worked with them hey guys welcome thank you for joining um uh so i just want you to know any video well i don't know what's really going on with the hair either it's, it's like half curled on top, straight on bottom. Maybe I'll make it a thing. Um, so they, Mary, welcome. I just discovered sublimation too. I want to learn. Oh, it is girl. Come hang out in my new studio. We will sublimate. So I felt the need to review this product because it's in the realm of sublimation. Okay, so is this a review? No, this is a first reaction video. This is no, not a review. I will go see, where do I buy it? Can you guys tell me where I get it? I didn't even find out where I could buy it, but I will buy it for your sake to review it against what I'm about to talk about. Um, so let's just get the ground rules out. It's a mug press that literally only works for a mug that they're marketing to only work with their mugs because that's what they do. And then... Um, it only works for mugs. Doesn't work for tumblers. It doesn't work for anything beyond mugs. So if you like mugs, I hope you like the mug press because it's all it can do is mugs. Um, I'm sure people are going to come up with hacks on trying to figure out how to use it on other products, but that shouldn't be a thing. We shouldn't have to find hacks to use it for other products. Is it cute? Yes, because Cricut always knocks it out of the park with how cute their products are. It's one of the reasons why everybody wants one in their craft room because it's adorable. Is it way cuter than a heat press or a mug press? Yes, it's adorable. Is it mint? Yes. So do we love it? Yes. Everything inside of us goes so cute so cute. And so I was reading all the reviews and all the comments, but if you saw somebody have a pre-recorded video on the day that it came out, that person was paid to say all the good things about it. 
just putting that out there. I think everybody knows that and that's why everyone kind of loves my little rants from the car because I'm not controlled by any brands when I talk about whatever I want. Um, it's out of stock at Cricut and the mugs are too. Cool. Everyone who wanted one got one. If you didn't get one, I'm going to tell you where else you can get something even better. So it is 199 doll hairs. Okay. So much moolah. That is the problem with these two new products that have come out. The Cricut Joy was cute and adorable and perfect. And the mug press is cute and adorable and perfect. Are they worth the price that they're selling them for? No absolutely not no save your dough don't buy it um because mugs are cool but mugs are not where people are going this is not what everybody's gonna want to buy from you this is and it's not it's not a machine that's set up for you to do it to sell okay so whoo let me simmer down a little bit um there is a five in one heat press that has amazing reviews on amazon it does hats mugs, tumblers, shirts, and all the things. I'm buying that and I'm buying the mug press. It's gonna slaughter the mug press already because it can do 800 other things, but it's $179 to be able to do shirts, plates, hats, mugs, tumblers, and more. Okay. Um, Kathy says, I've been sublimating for two years now. Shirts, mugs, puzzles. I have the five in one and love it. It has so many good reviews. I'm not going to vouch for it yet until I touch it with my own hands, but I'm not going to vouch for the mug press either. I'm just going to give my initial reaction and thoughts. And this is the problem. Cricut, I know that they're trying to take, you know, these really cool crafts and make them super easy. And so if that's your jam and you just want to be able to make cute mugs and you've got $200 just to be like, take my money. I don't care. I want something cute in my, in my craft room. Go for it. But that is not the life that I think that most of you guys have. Some of you might. And if you do, cool, get the mug press. But if you don't, and you're literally looking at sublimation. First of all, sublimation is not a craft that you just do for fun. I personally think sublimation is something that people are going to want to sell t-shirts. And like, I wouldn't buy the whole setup just to make me one shirt. I would buy a sublimation sheet by a company and sublimate it onto a t-shirt with my heat press because I do think heat presses are a craft supply. But if you're diving into the world of sublimation, you are not going to want 800,000 bajillion mugs. And that's it. You are going to open up your brain to all the things you can sublimate on. And then you're not going to want to stop. You're going to want to do watches. You're going to want to do cell phones. You're going to want to do um, fabric. And my sublimation series launches today in less than an hour. My first sublimation 101 video comes up. So I am the only person on the internet right now saying how I feel because all the other big uh, YouTubers, crafters that are growing like crazy with Cricut are paid to do that. And I am not going to be put in a box. I will not. It's just not my nature. And it has proven true that you guys love that. <laughs> like, and I, I, I'm for you guys more than I am for brands. Um, I'm sorry. I was sick for over a year due to a brand. So I will never tailor to a brand. Okay, I will always tailor to my audience and what you what's going to keep you guys safe. Do I think the mug press is not is going to hurt you? No. Do I think it's adorable? Yes. Do I think that if you want to start selling mugs or whatever, if I think that you um, I think it, it does what it does. It's going to be what it is and it's going to do those things great. Is it adaptable? No, you're going to be spending $200 to make mugs for the rest of your life. Um you're the brand. Yeah. So, but I carry other brands and I only carry sought after brands that are amazing. So, um, yeah. And, and I hope that you guys see that, that I'm, I'm honest to a flaw, literally. Like I, I will get backlash from the cricket tears or whatever they're called. Um, I will get backlash for this video and I anticipate it. And I didn't even want to talk about this today, but I feel like Again, it's just an injustice for like 800 influencers to pop up with this. Look at this amazing product. But then, and this is what happens. You all have these reactions right away. And then you get 
infiltrated with all these positive people who were paid to promote something and you instantly are like, maybe I do want it. May okay, I want it. I'm going to have it. I'm going to buy it and I need it. And then it's going to sit in your craft room after you make 10 mugs. Okay. But here's the real ticket. Okay. I didn't even get to the spicy stuff. There are, <laughs> they're marketing it with their sublim their, their infusible ink which is their version of sublimation paper that you cut and piece together and put on a mug. I'm sorry, that takes forever. You can, and, but if you didn't know, you can use sublimation designs with this. So if you print your own sublimation, um, it does work with that, whether they say it does or not. So it does work with that, um, but they're marketing it with infusible ink, which I'm sorry, infusible ink is, I have about eight rolls that I purchased myself because I was super excited to use it, and it's just so much work. I'm like, I could print the buffalo pattern in the shape I actually need where I don't have to cut it and sublimate it. Why would I cut it out, weed it, transfer it if I want another color, put that on the same sheet, put it onto the product, sublimate it or heat it on, whatever. I love your honesty. Continue doing this. Yeah, I didn't want to. Like, okay, so everyone knew Cricut was coming out with something new. I didn't because I've been busy, but everybody was like, they're coming out with something new. Do you think it's a, a heat press? A, I thought it was going to be a heat press. I was like, heat press maybe? No? Okay, mug press. Why do they do this to themselves? Why do they come out with something that's so limiting? I don't know. I don't know. Jessica says, infusible ink is a nightmare to weed. Sublimation is much easier. I know the amount of time you will take trying to learn how to, trying to learn how to sublimate, you will save in the time that you never have to weed uh, infusible ink again. So is five in one cricket brand? No, the five in one, no, Karen, five in one is not cricket brand. I don't know why they don't, I don't know why they're, they're just marketing to crafters. They're not marketing to people who want to actually like make things. Corinne says money, money, money. It's all about money. Yeah. And that, and that was the thing was as soon as I started piping up about, as soon as I started learning, cause you guys know that I, well, maybe you don't know. I was an all-around crafter, had no idea how to use a Cricut. Cricut found me. I jumped on. They locked me down to, like, a certain amount of videos a month. I ended up turning into, like, a Cricut puppet. And then I started venturing outside. Like, I was in a Cricut cult. I ventured outside and was like, what is this Caesar? And I was like, this works way better. And as soon as I said that, they were like, gone. You cannot say that. And I was like, but it is better. I can't lie. <laughs> Infusible ink sheets are limited. I love being able to print my own design, right? And um, with the fact that you can just convert an Epson by adding some ink, and the ink lasts forever. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't get behind a, a product that's going to cost you so much money by the end of your life. Get, invest in sublimation and you won't spend much money for the rest of your life. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to pin them as like awful and they're a business. They need to do what they need to do. I totally get it. They don't want people they're paying to say things are better than theirs. I get that. As a brand, I get that. But that's one of the reasons I don't lock my influencers down to contracts that say they can't work with other brands because if I'm not better than other brands, I need to get better or I need to stop carrying a product if there's something better on the market. Um, does that make sense? So you're welcome for being honest. I can't help it. I can't help it. The girl can't help it. Oh, no. Cricut Design Space Code is all open source, yet they lock it. Mm-hmm. I can't even with Cricut Design Space. I can't go into all the things. There's not enough time in the day to talk about why you should just get off Cricut Design Space. Use the Cricut machine. Design somewhere else. That's just all you need to know. Just take my word for it. I've done enough research for you. Just, I could, I could go for hours. Um, yeah, don't design in there anymore. Um, my number one fave is Silhouette Studio, and I'm working on a Design 101 with Silhouette Studio because I think for 50 bucks for lifetime, it's one of the best design programs you're going to find that's user-friendly, and um, I'm not paid by Silhouette. I don't work with Silhouette. They don't pay me to say this. Um, I don't recommend their machine because I tried. I literally was going to try because I was like, well, if it's better, I want to know. And I still recommend the Cricut machine over the Silhouette right now. Um, 
that's not to say that it's not going to change. Um, yeah, I will teach you Silhouette. Silhouette Design Studio is insane. It's so cool. Let's talk about how amazing your sublimation images are. I'm going to print the princess-inspired ones. I'm so living. This one was sublimated yesterday on a perfect tee with... Um, Tiffany and you can see how much brighter it is on the white tee from yesterday than this. This is like a 65 poly um, and it's bleached out. So I'm, I just upped my whole wardrobe yesterday. Can Zillowet Design Studio be used on the iPad? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know just because I'm, me and my laptop are like BFFs. I will take my laptop everywhere. So um, I really need to, I have an iPad Pro. Uh, I need, I, I use Inkscape to hand draw a lot of our sublimation stuff and parts of our sublimation stuff. That's all I use my iPad Pro for. I really need to learn if you can use more stuff with it. Um, I love the one you're wearing. Now I can't wait for that to come out. I know April 1st, Cruella DeVille comes out and I'm going to be I woke up this morning and I'm supposed to not work on Fridays. It's kind of like my get house jobs and stuff done. And I was like, all I want to do is draw sublimation designs today, which is fine. I will probably draw a bunch. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep this under 20 minutes because anybody who wants to rewatch this, I'm sorry if it made you sad or mad or unhappy. And if you think that I'm bitter or whatever you think it is, I just, I, I just... I'm, I'm trying my hardest. I was really hoping they would knock us out of the park. And I think that they will eventually. I think they will get back on the horse and start making products that people actually want. But until they start listening to what people want, they just are going to be hitting, missing the target every single time. I don't see it happening either, Corinne, but I'm trying to hope for the best. Because I really genuinely want to see them be a really like a really big contender in the craft game but at the same time it's like I don't know I don't know um yeah so anyways I will see you guys on Monday live talking about what's new and hanging out and making a craft so maybe if we just keep bombarding them with no Corinne it doesn't work we've everybody's like design space is where you need to be focusing they never do um yes Jenny I've feel you. I feel you. All right. Bye guys. I love you. Thanks for hanging out for my rant in the car. Now I have to go clean my car. It is a disaster. I, I spilled Cheez-Its. I spilled a bag of Cheez-Its. This is just to give you guys some sympathy for me in my cup holder. And then I spilled water on top of the Cheez-Its. I don't have kids. I don't have little kids. My kids are 12 and up now. That shouldn't be happening. I did it. It's my fault. So I'm going to go scrub out my car. Okay. Mom life, but I did it, Amy. I did it. It wasn't even me. I mean, it wasn't even my kids. It was me. So um, Cricket needs to make a vacuum. Yes. Thank you. I will be DIYing up my cleaning car. All right. Bye. I know it's gross. Sorry, Marissa. TMI. Okay. Bye, guys.